Ever since I read Harry Potter in third grade, it has been my life dream to apply for Hogwarts, get accepted, graduate, and marry Hermione Green- Wait, no, um, fast forward a few years, and here I am playing Terraria as a mage. While it's definitely not the same as wielding an actual wand and casting spells, it certainly does bring back those childhood memories of wanting to become a wizard. This is episode 2 of my series where I beat master mode with every class. Vote in my community tab for the next class you want to see. With all that said, let's get started. I started by building a few houses, then... I got chased down by a hideous looking monster, and I died. This is why I love this game. After finding a few life crystals and buying a copious amount of bombs so I can commit war crimes, I blew up a few crimson hearts and got the crimson rod. With, 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 some, with some amethyst in mind earlier, I crafted an amethyst staff. I then went to the jungle, and somehow, I got the ancient cobalt breastplate, which meant that I wouldn't have to craft a jungle shirt. After a long mining section, I got enough materials to make a sapphire staff- Wait! So you're just gonna leave me? Look, okay, it's not you, it's me. I'm sorry that I have to do this, but I thought we had something. I thought we were going to spend the rest of our lives together. Anyways, after crafting a ruby robe, I went to the jungle again and I found a pyramid in the jungle. Um, actually, it's in the desert, but it's just next to the jungle. I don't care, shut up. I was hoping for a sandstorm in a bottle, but I got a flying carpet. I'll still take it though. I then got enough vines and jungle spores for the rest of the jungle armor set. Oh hey, slime rain. Man, King Slime is so easy. I can easily defeat- While I was underground, I found Hermes Boots and a new friend that I named Gary. Gary, you and I are gonna do great things together. Gary? I guess he's not in the mood to talk right now. That's okay. I'm sure he'll talk sometime later. Finally, after all of this preparation, I felt ready to fight the Eye of Cthulhu, so I summoned it in. Wait, does this mean... Oh. Uh... I accidentally summoned the Eye of Cthulhu after the game had already decided to summon it for me, so now I'm basically fighting the pre hard mode equivalent of the twins. All is well though, because with the power of Gary by my side, I was able to defeat both of the eyes. I then summoned the brain of Cthulhu. I've always wondered, how does the brain have a heart inside of it that has an eye? Before I could come up with the full answer though, I killed it. Oh well, I guess I'll never know. After that, I went mining for a shiny space rock and I made some meteor armor and a gun that I do not have a license for. As I was on a floating island, the house elves were sick of their unjustified mistreatment and decided to put all their anger on me. However, I was quick to put them back in their place. You know how you aren't supposed to be able to get the Water Bolt pre-Skeletron anymore? Well, if you get lucky enough with the seed and no Dungeon Guardians come up below you, you can still get the Water Bolt. Pretty neat. Of course, I won't be using it against Skeletron, but it's still cool to know. Anyways, speaking of Skeletron... Yeah, the first attempt didn't go too well. So I found the Goblin Tinker and combined and reforged my gear. This time, instead of Skeletron boning me, I boned him in- <clears throat> I mean, I spanked him. Oh wait, no, that's even worse. I found a shadow key from the dungeon and went to the underworld to get a flame lash and flower of fire. I respawned King Slime and actually beat him this time. I then made a bridge for the wall of flesh. Oh hey look, a voodoo demon. I sure hope that when I kill it, the voodoo doll doesn't fall into the lava. Now that I was actually ready, I fought the wall of flesh again. This time I was able to beat him, meaning that I have officially started hard mode. I made a fishing pool in the hollow, and after a long while, I got the crystal serpent. Then I went on a pixie killing spree, which may or may not have caused the species to go endangered. I then went to get souls of flight, but then I forgot I needed a hard mode anvil to craft wings. So I destroyed some altars, mined the ores, and made the fairy wings, and titanium armor as well. After that, I thought up of a great idea. What if I tried to be Duke Fish on pre-mech? Now, you probably are thinking that I won't be able to, and at first, I thought so too. However, I exceeded my own expectations and I was able to- Just kidding, I, I, I died, I can't believe I actually believe- I farmed some icor to craft the funny piss book. Haha, <laughs> hee hee, piss. The traveling merchant was offering an orange zappinator. Of course, I bought it. Yay, another gun I don't have a license for. Now, I can brutally murder some oversized robots illegally. After beating the twins, I made the magic heart. Then, I beat Skeletron Prime, and then I beat the destroyer. I crafted hollowed armor and also a Drax. Now that I had better gear, I was able to beat Duke Fishron, but I didn't really get anything good except for the mount, which was guaranteed to drop anyway. So, I fought Duke again, but I got nothing. 
So I fought Duke again, but so I got nothing. I fought Duke again, so but I fought Duke I again, nothing. but I fought Duke so again. I fought Duke. I give up for now. I made an arena for Plantera with a tunnel leading up to the surface. I then spawned Plantera. In the second phase, I flew up the tunnel with the fish on mount. On the surface, if you keep your distance, Plantera can almost never hit you. If she does, just don't die. Easy. I went into the dungeon for Ectoplasm, and I also ended up getting a Magnusphere and a Spectre Staff. I went mining for Chlorophyte and crafted Spectre Bars, which I used to make Spectre Armor. Now that I had better gear, I was able to fight Duke Fishron easier and fa- <clears throat> As I was saying, with my new gear, I was able to fight Duke Fishron easier and faster, and eventually, I got gear that I could actually use. Finally! I broke into the jungle temple, summoned Golem, and I wrestled him like it was a WWE match. Right after, I tried to fight the cultist, but I felt that my toy little bubble gun wasn't gonna cut it. So, I fought Duke a few more times for the Razorblade Typhoon. I then beat the cultist, and, well, you know how the rest goes. Thank you for watching, and enjoy the fight. Well, Gary, we finally beat the world. Now, do you have anything to say? I'm over here stroking my 